My name is Abel Shafarau, owner of Sugar Bowl. Uh, I've owned it now for about 20 years, and and uh, it's I I, I trade it like a as a, a lifestyle more than a business. We're family friendly, cater to everyone, uh, a neighborhood uh, bistro slash pub. Uh, we do everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, and specialize. I think uh, we're, we're sort of our niche should be, I guess, beer. Beer is what we do best and, and what we're known for. And personally, why the Sugar Bowl is, I, I used to hang out here when I was a student. Uh, and I've always also worked in the neighborhood for a number of years. And I I was one of those you know students that came in, smoked cigarettes all day long, and drank 20 cups of coffee for 20 cents a refill. I think there were 40 cents a refill back yeah. then. You buy a cup of coffee for buck 20, yeah. and it's 40 cents for every refill, so you can literally spend all day. Yeah. And it would only cost you a few dollars. Yeah. And uh, do your assignments and and yeah. and uh, smoke cigarette all day long and pretend you're uh, hanging out at Bohemian, Bohemian Cafe that's yeah. somewhere in Europe. So yeah, totally. that was the attraction. It was a lifestyle, and I really liked the place and. Uh, because of my sort of, like I said, I worked in a restaurant business in the past. I liked it, and I said, "Why not?" And uh, 20 years later, here I am. Yeah. yeah. So I think so. I mean, you can look around now. You know, there are a good 50 to 60 people here, yeah. and we have seven parking stalls at the back. Yeah. So they must get here. Yeah. Uh, you know, they must walk here or, or get here without driving because right. I only have seven stalls. Right. So that is. You know, the proof is here that it is a walkable place and people will, will, uh, will get here somehow without driving. I, there's probably about 40% of the city, I don't really know. I've, sure. I've been living here for 30 years. Uh, and I, you know, I've always lived downtown. I like central locations and everything I do in life evolves around uh, my workplace and downtown. So summertime, I actually often don't drive. I uh, cycle to work. Uh, so it's it's a choice. It's a lifestyle choice more than a business for me. And I I, I think this is a reason why I do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I live in the Satir Lofts on 104th Street, and, and and the market is right in front of us. Summertime, and uh, our daughter is born there. Uh, and I often wonder whether she wants to live. You know, somewhere in the suburb was uh, a yard, and <laughs> yeah. and her answer is always, always no. Doesn't know what it means to live in a house, and she's quite happy. And and uh, uh, it's just I wish there were more families with kids that lived in that neighborhood. But I think there's changes on the way. Hopefully, the rest of the world. I, I, I mean, I would much. I don't know what percent of the, the world lives in densely populated. You know apartments and, and walkable places and yeah. uh, it's not the norm or the culture but but things are changing here I think yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is the, one of the biggest attraction why I love downtown it's just everything I need is within within a few blocks and, yeah. and I 10 minutes away from work so uh, summertime is usually the market and hang out some of the cafes around the neighborhood. credo I go to credo quite a bit yeah. uh, you know, even at night time when I do venture, there's a number of pubs in Red Star Pub or yeah. the Bower or nearby, and yeah. so everything I need is really within within five ten minutes of my 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 neighborhood.